User maintenance in SAP Business One is one of the simpler administrative tasks that does occur frequently. When setting up a new user or resetting a password, the majority of these admin tasks can be completed within the SAP Business One user interface quickly and effectively. This clip will explain the simple steps towards creating a new user. First, I need the employee's information, and the HR team has given me the necessary information to set up a new starter called Trent Black. They have also set up the employee record in the SAP Business One HR module. The next step is locating the user setup window. This is located under the administration module, under setup, general and user. Then we have the user setup window where I can start populating the fields. First of all is the user code. This is a unique code given to the individual user. And here we go with Trent Black. The next field is the binding towards the Microsoft Windows domain user, which is something that the IT team will be giving, would give each of the individual users. The next field is the full name that would want to be presented within SAP Business One. The next step is linking it to the HR record. And since the HR team has already created this, I can just find it within the drop down field. Next is the email for this particular individual. This helps with alert management and notifications within SAP Business One. The next field is their mobile number. This is for information purposes and just keeps everything centralized in the system. The next field is the mobile device ID. This is very important when it comes to the SAP Business One mobile app to establish a secure link between the main server hosting SAP Business One and the mobile device. To locate the mobile device ID, first of all you will need to download the SAP Business One app onto your mobile device. Once installed, you will be able to run the app on your device and the app will let you know what the device ID is to key into your SAP Business One system. Fax number can be also keyed in. The next field is the defaults. This allows default settings or default values for this particular user when they're creating new records within SAP Business One. This can be default warehouse information or address information. The next field is which branch they belong to. So if, they are, if there are several branches operating within this particular organization, you can assign them to the applicable branch. Then it's assigning the department this individual belongs to within that branch. The next field is the authorization group. So this permits um, the access this individual has within SAP Business One. And the authorization groups is a great way of setting this up quickly and effectively. To do this, you drill into the button on the right hand side and select the user groups or the authorization group he needs to belong to. Next is the language. And then after that is setting a temporary password for the user to log in initially. The password complexity is different from site to site. This is currently set up as a simple four character password. The next field is to set the password it never expires. This is typically required for users or particular agents within SAP Business One. Change password at next login is when Trent Lake logs in for the first time. He will key in the temporary password that I've just defined and then he will set the password that he wants going forward. The last field is locked. So once this user um, no longer um, is employed by the business or sometimes when they um, key in the password 
and correctly too many times, they will become locked. It will be a simple admin task to come in here and unlock them and reset the password. On the top of the screen, we have two tick boxes, super user and mobile user. So super user is typically your, super, um, your admin users or people that have elevated access throughout the system. You can flag them as a super user. The next field is a mobile user. So as we discussed earlier, SAP Business Run mobile app, if you want to allow this user to use that app, you would flag the mobile user. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn new smart ways to grow your business. You can also check out our blog and follow us on Twitter to learn more and stay up to date. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.